Um, as usual, this entire chat is uh, streaming live on Facebook. And after our <laughs> chat, you can go back to our Facebook page and uh, watch it again. We have with us today, Mr. Sylvester Oromoni. Uh, yes. He's the father of uh, Sylvester Jr. Oromoni, a GS2 student of Darwin College, uh, Lekki, who lo lost his life last week. And um, the father is going to tell us what happened. Already the school issued a statement yesterday uh, saying that, oh, uh, the young boy had just a mild illness and was allowed to go home and they, they denied any wrongdoing on their premises. So the father is going to tell us exactly what happened and um, uh, feel free to send in questions which we will direct to him. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, my brother. How are you? Yes, fine, thank you. Uh, let me first start by sympathizing with you and your family over this incident. Um, people who send their children to school um, do so with the hope that their children will graduate and be able to um, do a lot with, with the degree that they've been given. Unfortunately, um, Sylvester's life has been uh, cut short. Um, <clears throat> can you tell us exactly, can you narrate to us the, the events leading up to his death? Thank you very much. Uh, Sylvester Romani Juno is my last, uh, was my last uh, child. His birthday is tomorrow. He's going to be 12 years tomorrow. Uh, he, uh, he was born on the 4th of December, 2009. Two years. Two years out of 11. And it was the last. And uh, what happened was that I sent four of them to that school. The rest ones went to Benedi and other schools. But four of them, the one I sent to that school. The first one, God is great, finished some years, two years back, is in Canada. Then the second one finished just last, this last semester, this recent YA, this, this last section. This is the one sitting on my right, the same school. Then this one I left, she's in a SS1. And my son, Sylvester Romani Jr., was in SS2. It was not the two of them that were left in that school before this incident. Now, sometime in uh, October, the, before then, we've been experiencing so many things. If you get this boy 50,000 naira provision, it doesn't take him one week. But he will refuse to talk about what is happening to his provision. His clothes, his shoes, any good thing that he has. Money, so we now decided that we give the money to the house master, one Mr. Amen. Now this October month, after October, 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 he told her that he said he saw a private part. Uh -uh. The boy said no. That in the hostel, they asked him, have you seen your sister's private part? Nakedness. He said no. They're my sisters. How can I see their nakedness? Then they started beating him. That uh, unless he said, he should tell them he has seen their private part. That's the only way they will stop beating him. So he has to agree, yes. I've seen their, their nakedness. So one of these boys, uh, what's his name? The favor, is it the same class with you? Yes, the same set with this man's daughter. It wasn't the one who informed you that your sister said, your brother said you've seen a private part. Yes, he was the one that told you. The same boy that threatened him to say that I've seen his sister's private part, went to the sister. Ah, this was the number I said, you have seen your private part. Okay. Your nakedness. That, that was why she wanted to beat a younger brother. So when the boy and I explained, she left him. So when they came to the house during the beating, they brought up this matter. I said, okay, my son saw who is in London now, Kines. His name is Kines. And I went to the school. 
call the school authorities and explain to them. According to them, they invited these boys. They even told us they suspended them. This same boy. So after the meeting, we, all of them went back to school. That was the first uh, incident. But this one that happened, happened last weekend. Last week. But we, we got the call on Monday. They called my wife on Monday. But we, we I, don't, I, I can't specifically say it happened on Saturday or Sunday. Because on Monday, it was a nurse from the, from the sick bay that called. A nurse, not even the school authority. Called that uh, Sylvester Romani Jr. is sick, that is in the sick bay. That the parents should come and carry. That Monday it was late. And my son, the king, the one that is in London, was also in worry. Myself was in worry. Then the mother, too, all of us were in worry. Then one of our boy, his friends, were asked him to go and carry the boy on Tuesday from the school. What happened? We now call the house master, Mr. Ahmed. He now said, uh, Sly, Sylvester Romani Jr. said, he fell. Why play football? Yeah, are you sure? So when the boy went to the school to pick him that Tuesday, the boy said, this one is beyond four. That the whole body, if you want to carry him, he couldn't move. If you want to carry him anywhere he does, he'll be shouting. And he will open his mouth, <sighs> put his hand here. Then what happened? The mouth here started having sign of peeling. You know, like when fire burn somebody, it immediately it will not peel to that red color, whatever. It will look dark first. Then finally it will now peel up. That was the beginning. So the boy that called my son, who is his friend, Kenneth, said this boy, but this serious. The boy could not start. The boy could not eat. The boy is shouting my mouth, my waist, my back, my chest, everywhere. It's okay. I now ask Kenneth to go to Lagos on Wednesday. So Kenneth now, he flew through Benin to Lagos. I went to Asama. When he got to Lagos, he got to the house, Kenneth now called me, my son had called me. He said, Daddy, this case is beyond me staying because he's traveling to London that Saturday. I said, okay, now I'm coming. In the night, nobody will sleep. You have to carry it to the toilet. If you want to wish, you carry it. Anything, then you will turn in. You'll be telling you, press here, press my chest, uh, my throat, my throat, my throat. So more than you say, hey, my back, turn me, turn my leg. Wait, oh, carry the legs once more. It will be shouting. Every part of the body. What happened? It will tell you, I fall. It will not tell you exactly what happened. Fall, your leg, the school said, you have fracture in your leg. This fracture in your leg, now turn to every part of your, including your mouth, inside your tongue, your throat. Okay. When I got to uh, Lagos that Thursday, I asked my son, because he didn't sleep throughout the night. So go to your room and sleep, I will be with him. So I was the one carrying him through at the night. Nobody sleep, me too, I didn't sleep. But in the evening, I made some contact to get Fly back to worry with him that Friday. That was last week Friday. Flights everywhere is fully booked. Benin fully booked. As about fully booked. Worry fully booked. We now decided to take road. My, my, my son has a truck. Then me to have to have my there to come from uh, worry to wait for us at the body run about. So in the morning we moved to through Ekpe and we met at the Zebodi run about. We now proceed to worry. That was how I was petting him. He would sleep on my lap. Some more time he said, eh, eh, this side, turn this side. That was how we were doing till we got to work. But the road was very bad. That had the block, so, uh, building bypass. So we had to suffer miss road till finally get to work very late today. So as I got to work, I now said for one of our uncle, you know, I had some massage. I said, let him check the leg. If there's anything like dislocation, since it's football, then 
touch the waist too. The man checked him. He said, there's something like this. Look at that. So, but the laughs, the yes too, everywhere is swollen. Then he says, that this shoulder, is it right shoulder? Um, One of the shoulders. Left shoulder. Left shoulder. What is it like? The bone was not showing. The, the bone, that one. One side the bone was swollen. The other side the bone was not swollen. Mm -hmm. swollen. Yes, and sir, he did not tell you all through when he was going through this pain. He didn't tell he you. He didn't confess anything, my brother. He didn't, even that time, when he confessed that time that the harassment, the first one, he was crying. He said he would kill him. That they, if, oh, he had told him. you before that they are said, bullying that him. They will, they will beat him. They will beat him. So killers, my son should take it easy. So, but my son refused. He went to the school. The school said they've taken care of everything. They're now moving from the, where they put that small boy and those big boys at the same house there. Mm -hmm. the, same, mm -hmm. the same room. How can they put SS1 boys and uh, there's two boys, there's two boys, there's one boys, and there's two boys in the same room. See, so they're now moving from that room to another room where it's made, sir. According to the school authority, they did that. Eh? Yes. My, my daughter said they did that. So now on this fateful day, I came with him to worry. I called up uncle to check. He said, no dislocation. He said, but everywhere is swollen. Mm -hmm. Everywhere, the lip side, the, and we were shouting his chest and his throat. But my brother, look at what I want to do. To him. He was opening his mouth. Ah, 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 ah. What happened to your throat? But that time, the mouth had started peeling. Mm. The mouth had started peeling. So mm. we now call our family doctor to come and take blood sample. Because since he could not lie down and sleep, we carried him to toilet. We decided to keep him at home. They bring doctor to be taking care of him at home. So the doctor came and took sample. He came with the result and said he, he was having malaria. But then his body was very hot. Then he started treating him malaria. Treat. He gave him uh, first because he has not been eating. He gave him a uh, uh, drip that will let him get appetite. That one, they don't mix that one at all. Just plain something. That's one. Then after they now give him the fever drip. Then uh, they still give him that or that one to sustain so that he will not be hungry. That was uh, that was. Uh, at that point, you didn't know that it was beating. You know, even at that point, we, we, we never knew that it was beating, but he has not confessed. Oh. We never knew that he was able to give me something to drink, but he has not confessed. So at, at what point did he then reveal what happened to him? So it, it was on Monday, between the hours of 11 and 12. That was when he started confessing. He told us that he didn't play ball, he didn't go to any field, that he was in his room with his mates sleeping in, on his bed in the evening. But he didn't give us the time. But he said it was in the night. These boys walked into that hostel, the junior students' hostel. In the same hostel, just their room. Their okay, room. Yes, the same room. hostel, eh? Yes. It's not their, their room, separate room. Yes, yes, okay, yes. okay. They walked into their room. They put off the lights. He was lying on his bed. They started beating him. Huh. With bell too. They beat him, beat him. Then he fell from his bed. They started mashing with with the leg. So that all these places that are pending in, it's as a result of those smash bruises. He said nobody, uh, he did not play ball with anybody. Then at the end, they gave him something to drink. He did not know what they gave to him to drink. That was the confession of the boy. Was he able to identify the boys that did this? Yes, thing? he mentioned, he said, because he mentioned, he said they were five. He mentioned three. He mentioned Benjamin Favor. He mentioned Aslem okay. Tenle. Aslem. 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 What's the name? Aslem. Aslem Tenle. Okay. Benjamin Favor. Hmm. Then Kasamu Michael. 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 Yeah. Kasamu Michael. Yeah. Kasamu Michael. Yeah. He mentioned those three. So, but because the place was dark, 
the rounds. He was hearing their voice when they were beating him, but he could not get, he can't remember their names. Somebody were five. Then, according to him, they said, they tell all the rest people, maybe whether they send them out or they gather them in one place that we do not act. He said, if we not talk, we'll kill all of them. If they ask you, tell even the school people, say you were playing ball, say you fall, they threaten them. So the children say, we will not talk, we will not talk. Um, so up till this time, it's because of okay. that threat that made him not to say this thing until that Monday. That's, so as soon as they finish that, they will now ask, okay, since he loses, let them take him to somewhere where they will carry out X-ray and a, a scan. X-ray all, all over his body. And uh, the one they did in the uh, Lagos, the other did in Lagos, because he could not he could not stand up. The since he said it was a uh, leg. leg, they did from the waist. front waist down to the leg. It wasn't the whole body. Mm -hmm. That was the first history. And I think that is the history the school is talking about. Mm -hmm. Because the boy said his leg. The school said his leg. The history they did was just for that from the waist, yeah, front, not even back, the left side down. And the history did not show any fraction. Okay, let, let, let me ask you one question, sir. Um, okay. You said he has complained in the past. Yes. About this incident. He's in jail too. So I'm assuming that when he was in JS1, this matter had started. You did you um, report to the school authorities about um, this bullying? Uh, mm -hmm. No, in JS1, no. No, we did. We did, but then in JS1, it wasn't anything about a beating. I was in the school. So it was that like, it felt like some myself boys too, they were like protecting him in a way. And this Michael Kashami, there was an incident with him. I don't know what happened, but the seniors tend to be very power drunken. So I don't exactly, he was in SS1 then, um, last session, now he's in SS2. So he, I don't, I don't really remember the incident, but I'm pretty sure it was a very minor incident because he is a junior, he wasn't rude to his senior. He wasn't rude or anything. He's the kind of person that oh, he will even want to kiss up to his senior so they would like so they him. would like so him. they won't be mean to him. You yeah. understand? Because okay, yes, they know his sister, they know his brother. So the, during the incidents, when my set made boys head, they were on third floor because they keep the SS3s, and I think some of the SS2s on third floor. So all of my set boys went downstairs and took him. And the next day they came to school and they came to tell me, Oh, Amira C, we took your brother, don't worry. Nothing happened to him. We took care of your brother. They almost beat him, but we took care of him. So I don't know if it's that, that feeling of, okay, they've protected you too much. Let's wait for your sister to go. Let's see what happens. So it's like every little thing he does, it's like they keep their eye on him to make sure they do something to him. Because in just one, the incident we had with the provisions and his things getting stolen, even the first week he started school, his things finished. And my mom went to Lagos to visit him because he's our last born. He's, he just entered secondary school. She was, she was in Lagos. She wanted to see him before she traveled back to Delta. So when he told her that, oh, my things were stolen. So she felt like he was being careless. She felt he was being very careless about his things. So she scolded him, but then they replaced the things. So from there, another incident about the provisions came again. So that's when he kept it with Mr. Ahmed. So they've been keeping it with Mr. Ahmed for a year now with his money and everything. So none of the things have been, so if any minor incident with his setmates should come up or anything, he always used to report to me. I was the one that they called this, when this event of uh, happened in October, when my sister called me to complain that, oh, see what her friend told her, that my brother went to say that he saw me naked and all. And then I called him with, Mr. I called Mr. Ahmed's phone to speak to him. and. Um, I, started, I started scolding him. He was quiet on the call. That's one thing I had to, I had to understand, that he was quiet on the call. And normally, if you do something like that, if you do something like that proudly, there's a way you also try to defend yourself. So, but he didn't try to do any of that. He didn't try to, he was quiet, like, okay, I, I seem to deserve this. 
You understand? So when he told me that they beat him up, my brother called me later and was scolding me because I just left the school. So he's like, how can you just leave and immediately? There must be something wrong. And he was... So that they were waiting... Is it that they were waiting for him to... For me? Okay, yes. So that's my brother was really angry and also when my sister I heard something about a suspension. I heard something about a suspension. So I said, okay, yes, they sorted everything else. Only for my sister to come today and she's like, oh, that there was nothing like a suspension. So um Ah, it seems they were having some uh, internet issues. Can you hear me very well? Okay. Okay. And I said that I'm not going to. And I'm, I was. I kept on saying I'm going to make sure that they suspend those boys because I know what it is. But after he has opened up, I know what they could do. So I said I was telling the house parents. I told her that no matter what it is, that I won't burst until they suspend him and they asked me to write a statement about it i wrote a statement about it and they said they were going to ask my brother and favor for this his their own statements so after that i think the matter died and i just i just let it go so moving on when now i'm hearing from my dad that the school said that they suspended them the last time it did not happen they weren't suspended i tried my best and i i i I tried several times and people were trying to even say that why was I not forgiving him? Things like I was very bitter throughout. I said I would make sure that they were who, suspended. Who, was the, who, who were the boys that you wanted to get suspended? That? Favor, Favor was the one asking the question. So yes, Favor, him. Favor Benjamin. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, um, since this incident happened now, what action has the school taken? Is it that these boys were suspended? Because I'm hearing now, we're seeing on social media, they said the boys have been, if they've left Nigeria, some of them have flown out of the country. I don't know. What are you hearing? Yeah, we, 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 we will not know much about mm -hmm. the boys' position now. Mm -hmm. The school has played the position of those boys. But as soon as he finished the confession that one day, my son in London got a call across to the principal of the school. Uh, he called the house master, I mean, the, the, I mean, the uh, Mr. Amit. Mr. Amit, the house master. Yeah. What's, What's the name of the principal? What's the name of the principal? Mr. Davis Mr. Mrs. Davis Okay, Mr. Davis Okay, okay. Go so, on. Go on. my son in London, as soon as the, the boy filled that confession, mentioned those boys. He now placed a call across to the school. They called Amit. Ahmed was crying. Shaman, I want to see your face. I'm calling you on video call now. Please talk to me on video call. I saw that. You saw that, eh? I saw that part, and they didn't want to let me know uh -huh. what had happened. So uh -huh. I, they let, let me leave the place. Oh, they, they allow you to leave the place? Yes. Okay. They, they don't want you to know that. They didn't want to know that it's, it's dead. dead. Okay. So my son now uh, asks uh, Ahmed, Ahmed, who are those boys? You know, I mentioned the three names. I want to talk to the police. I want to interview them. They were the one that killed my brother. Then go ahead and give the phone to the policeman, please. Still on video call. I'm at went and give the phone to the policeman. The phone was on video call where the principal sent for those three children. Then I interviewed them. The children said uh, they did not beat, that uh, they, they, were, they, said, they, they were told that they went to play, play football and it was injured. It was injured. So the same statement the school gave, it was the same statement those three boys gave. So, but while my boy, my brother my son was talking to them, he screenshot, yes, he screenshotted, he screenshotted their face, their faces. That was how he was able to get the faces of those boys. Um, in that school, is there cultism? In, in, in Darwin College, or is, is, how, how do things work in that school? You say that, uh, are there checks for, for... You see, my brother, if there is court easy, court boys do not come out in the daytime to display their 
what whatever nonsense they are doing. It, it, unless if they, if they, if they succeeded in the initiative, you, you are part of them. If you are not part of them, you will not know what they are doing. I think what they were doing to this, my son, probably since the boy was in the same uh, uh, room with them, probably maybe they discovered that the boy saw them doing something. They wanted him to be part of them. Maybe the boy, I don't know what happened. But while the boy was confessing them, he did not mention that uh, they wanted him to join Paul. Mm. He did not mention that mm. to us. What he said was they beat him up and they gave him something to drink. And they told them, and even the people in that room, that if you people talk, we'll kill all of them. When they ask you, tell them Sly was playing a football, that he enjoyed while playing football with you people. Have you now reported the matter formally to the police? And we, have the submitted a petition. we have submitted a petition day before yesterday to the Commission of Police, Lagos State. OK. Okay. Yes. We also uh, we reported to area command worry first before we went to Lagos to submit the petition. What are your demands now? What is what are the demands of the Romani family now? The demand of the Romani family is justice. They should bring the killers, those who gave him that something to drink, those who beat him up, the people who mentioned their name, they should allow them to come out and say something. They should interrogate them. They should the school should come out. And tell me, tell the family, tell Nigerians the true story of the death of Masha. Because if you are playing football, football is not played alone. Those who played the football with him, there are those who were, like as he confessed, he was in the room. Those who were in the room with him, the other people that were in the school, they asked masters, and even if they are playing football, that's what you do. There must be somebody that is there, either ask master, security, or whatever. Cannot affect the other part of See? The so they should tell us because my brother, until this boy gave up the call, the school did not call us one day. Mm. The only day they called us was a Monday, and it was a nurse. Mm. It was a nurse. They eh? called on Monday the class teacher. The class teacher. Okay, okay. The class teacher called the final. So not the school. Not school. the school. Because the they usually the check up when they check up on the yeah. boy. Mm. Okay. They said it's yes. class teacher, well, apart from the nurse who called the mommy to come and pick up the boy. That the uh, class teacher. It's just one class teacher. Just one. Not even just SS1. Present. Not it's just one. Not even SS1. It's class teacher. Not present, yes. Who is very close to him? It's just one. Not, it's just two. Has, that, has, any, has any autopsy been conducted yet to even determine the exact cause of death? The one we are doing now, we are doing the police. The police contacted the police in the area command, contacted. I think police doctor, I don't know, pathology, I don't know. I think they carried out uh, uh, the, the, this thing, the, the, the autopsy yesterday. I think the result will come out that. But, and uh, we were made to understand that they discovered something in the stomach. They discovered something in the stomach? A liquid. Okay. That, yes, liquid, a black okay. liquid. They, they use shrimp to draw it according to them, but they are not spoken to them. Since your internet is unstable, your internet connection. But you said that one will be carried out by. Probably the next one. OK, yes, yeah, back now. It's back now. You said they discovered something in his stomach. Yes, I, I put it to the person who was uh, carrying, out the, carrying out the autopsy, uh, the people that were with the man. They said they had some other things they discovered. There is this dark liquid, dark liquid, small water standing in part of the tummy. I don't know because I can't go and face that one. I didn't go. So they use shrimp. This uh, shrimp they use removing blood to draw it. But uh, according to him, that one will not be carried out by him. That is police in Lagos or Abuja that will carry out that test. That is the name, that is the name they call that to know the, the chemical, that particular mm -hmm. content that was inside the system. You, you said when your son was in JS1, at some point he complained about the bullying. Did you ever think that it was time to um, withdraw him from that school? From that one? Of course, of course I, I, I said it as a father, but because this is my daughter this way. 
she was a senior student. She has senior boys that always taking care of him. This one then was in a GSS okay. three. She was in GSS three. So I wanted to pull it out and this one, but they said, no, the school said they will take care of all these things. So they advised that, that is no, 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 they will not do anything. And the provisions that they take, yeah. they will not beat him. If they beat him, they will complain. School authorities will not take it lightly. They were, that, that students, there's, he was a, he's a younger one, so, and three of them are together. I know it's uh, something very painful for the yes. family. And you said tomorrow would, would have been his 12th birthday. Um, yes. uh, what, how is tomorrow going to be for you, your own last born, uh, who you would have thought would be, would be present to celebrate his 12th birthday? How is his absence affecting you now personally as a father? Yeah, I've asked I've, 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 I've the mother to bring one of his pictures. But when he was in primary school, he always thought of, I want to be pilot. So when the school was doing some activities, they would ask them to wear, if you want to be doctor, you wear doctor uniform. Career day. Career day, career day. So they, they wear pilot uniform. So I've asked them to bring. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Okay. Sorry, my brother. I've asked the wife, my wife to bring that picture. I think there's a last bit. I will do a cake. I put the picture and I will do his birthday. It's okay. It's okay. okay. No, don't cry. It's okay. Everything is fine. Don't cry. Don't cry. Don't cry. Both of you should not cry. I don't like the mom, the mom could not sleep. So they gave her drugs. So she's sleeping now. That's that's why she's not here with us. She's in the room. She's sleeping. The B, both of us BPs were very high. So we have drugs. Okay. Hmm? I hope that uh, you get the justice and closure that you deserve. Yes, yes, justice, justice. That's what I want for myself. We've been chatting with uh, the Oromoni family uh, over the loss of their son, Sylvester, a student of Darwin College, Lekki, who lost his life over alleged bullying, even though the school still claims that. Uh, they had complications from playing football. The family is demanding justice, uh, even as the police have now taken over the matter. We've been chatting. Oh, it's a, it's a sad experience. Um, as I stated earlier on, this entire chat streamed live on uh, Punch Facebook page. You can go back, visit, share, and like. Um, if you have any information about this incident, you can also. Um, let the family know, or you can also inform the police, which have begun investigation into the matter. Thank you so much, sir, for uh, you know how things are, but you still summon the courage to talk to us this afternoon. No problem. Pray that God will comfort you and your family. Amen. Amen. All right. Enjoy your day, sir. Thank you. Thank you.